Okay, Dave here with the first in a three-part series on how to set up your plugins. So here we are in our dashboard, and let's go over here and open up our plugins, and we'll go to install. And oh, let's see. We're going to start with the Akismet, and. We have already activated that, but when you activate it, a uh, dialog box will open up in the top, and you're going to have to put in your Kismet key. And uh, the accompanying uh, transcript will uh, give you the uh, website, but you're going to have to go to WordPress.com and go ahead and join. And when you get into the member section, then you get your Kismet key. Now go ahead and put this into a text file or whatever and save it because you can use the same key for as many blogs as you want to set up. But if you want to use the Akismet, which is like your handy little uh, uh, spam fighter, uh, you're going to have to enter this uh, Akismet key in there. And it's, uh, it's a very good plug-in to use, so highly recommend it. Now, let's go into All-in-One SEO, but before we do that, we're going to want to go into our permalinks and set that up so that our posts will, will appear in something that makes sense to the search engine. So, uh, let's get into our permalink section, and that should be down in Settings, Permalinks. And as you see here, we've taken the custom structure and we've put um, a forward slash, uh, percent mark, category, and uh, percent mark, forward slash, etc., etc. So what this will do is when you do a post, it will categorize it in the category and with the post name. So this is a little more search engine friendly. Then go ahead and save changes. And, and we'll take care of that. Now we want to go back to our plugins and we'll go back to install and we've already activated our all-in-one SEO pack. Now uh, we should be able to go into settings here and we'll go into all-in-one SEO settings. After you activate it, the first thing that's going to happen when this w comes up is it's going to have a, a red area at the top and this is going to say that you haven't set it up yet. So uh, after you do all this, uh, we enable the plugin, uh, we put our home title and home description and then you put in a bunch of home keywords, comma separated. Uh, you can pretty much leave these in their default and you can use no index for tag archives if you want uh, and probably pretty much just leave this uh, in its default go ahead and update options and then this red area that would have appeared had we not already set this up will then disappear so uh, now let's go back into our plugins again. Here we are in the plugin section and we're going to activate WP Stats. This is from WordPress.com and you'll need the same API key that you used for Akismet. It's, uh, you should have already uh, registered then if you've uh, activated Akismet and uh, as soon as we activate it it's going to ask for the number and it's going to keep track of our uh, page views post views uh, what's most popular and where our traffic is coming from so it's a pretty slick little uh, plug-in for traffic so let's activate it And now let's uh,
go in and put our Kismet key in. Let's go down to stats here. And okay. So we want to and uh Here's the address where all these this data is stored. Uh, WordPress uses their own server to store this, so it doesn't slow your uh, blog down any. And we've got uh, the top stats, um, 10 most recent posts, uh, 10 most commented posts. Uh, pretty much just leave these uh, in the default. And let's go ahead and save changes and then we will be able to view this on our uh, dashboard. So that completes the WP stats uh, setup and uh, we'll move on here to, an, to our next uh, on pages. Again would be uh, my page order, especially if you have a content management site, you're going to want to use this uh, plugin. And uh, what this allows you to do is just order your pages in whatever order that you would like. Uh, we're going to fool around with some of the graphics in another uh, video uh, in setting up your uh, uh, setting up your pages. But uh, this will also this will be a big benefit here. Uh, now, if we go into settings after we've activated this and go into actually we're going to have to go into pages and up under pages is my page order so let's go ahead and click that and now you will see all the pages that we've constructed for this blog and in other videos we'll go through setting up your different pages but the advantage here is you can put this above here if you'd like or beneath it and you can set your pages in whatever order you want. Uh, very handy tool for especially a content management site. So that concludes your uh, this first series and uh, hope we see you at the second one. Thanks a lot.